Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to show you um, how to swap characters in Resident Evil 4 um, for PC. So first you're going to need this thing called Melee Trainer. The link will be in the description. Uh, so once you got it downloaded, you just open it up. Um, give it a second. You should have something like this. Make sure your game's running. Um, you can you can have ultimate. You can download ultimate item modifier if you want. You don't really need it, but I'm just gonna not open it. I might open it. But so like if you want to be Krauser, oops, wrong button. Sorry. Um, you're gonna have to discard everything from the inventory that uh, Krauser cannot carry. So um, he can carry both of these. So um, yeah. So once you have everything like in, out of your inventory that Krauser can carry, oh, I'm using I'm using Krauser for example. So first, well actually next, you're gonna um go in your trainer, look for characters, then you click any one you want. Like I'll choose Krauser, and now it's gonna change the position to his pose. Now you just gotta save your game. Doesn't matter where you save it, and you're gonna reload your game from where you saved it. So, um, once you loaded it, um, oh crap, um, I will just skip ahead, um, while I fix this problem. Alright guys, I'm back, um, if you start your new game, it, it might, uh, crash, well not crash, but, um, you know, like what happened to me. I think it, if you start a new game, it will do that, but if you're doing a loading game, um, it, if you're doing a loading game, it won't really crash. So, um, if you did this correctly, you should have, like, your character that you want. Your character might freeze, but if it is, leave in the comments, because I do know how to fix that problem. Well, I'll tell you right now. So, to fix your prob to fix the problem of, like, your character freezing, all you mostly do is just change into another character. It should let you move, because that's how I did it. So... Ugh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Well, here's the problem. Like, I don't have any weapons. So, um, I am gonna... You can close out of this once you have your character. I'm gonna open up Ultimate Item Modifier. I'll just try to kill this enemy while I'm waiting. Oh, yeah, another thing you can do with Melee Trainer. I don't, I'm, I don't know why I just, um... I don't know why I just uh, closed it, but you can help... There's a thing you can do to make a, you just gotta do a hotkey in order to do melee. So um, I am gonna replace this first a kit. I'm just gonna skip ahead while I do this. All right, guys, I'm back again, and um, I just gave him grenades because that's one of the things I know that he Krauser can hold and use. So um, I'll just minimize this for now, and I'm just gonna open up melee trainer because I'll I'm gonna show you um something really cool that you can do so um... when your game's running uh... you go down here in melee control uh... let's see so if you click on that and you go back to your game i'm gonna try to click f1 on my computer yeah if you, it's good you, all you have to do is click on any melee attack like it's gonna do f2 in order to, for it to work so I can just do this anytime I want. So um, I'm gonna X out an ultimate item modifier. Now I'm just gonna test it out. Okay, so that's cool. So I'm gonna go find an enemy and try this out. So now I gotta let them approach me. See, you can just do this any any as many times as you want. Um. Another glitch you can do is, but make sure you just have this enabled. If you click T, you can run through the walls and stuff. So you can, well, you can't run through the walls like I'm where I'm going. Just make sure all you do is click T. Oh shoot, I forgot to enable it. Huh. I always forget. Now, just, once you click T, you can run through the walls and stuff. It will work. Um, eventually, 
Oh yeah, it works. So um that is we'll say for a tutorial and thank you for watching.